All right, here we are with the Galaxy Note 2 on Rogers, and what I was going to do is show you just quickly how to uh, install a custom ROM, specifically in this case, Jedi. Now, I've already rooted the phone, so you'll have to follow other instructions to do that, and I've installed uh, TWRP, TWRP, as the recovery system, and that's what you see up here, Team Win Recovery Project. Now, what, uh, what I'm actually going to do, before I do anything, I want to start doing some wiping. So I go to wipe, what I want to do here, you don't have to necessarily do it these two in this order, but wipe the cache, swipe to wipe, done, it'll just format the cache, done, okay. The Dalvik cache, click this one, wipe, again you don't necessarily have to do this, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a uh, full factory reset, wipe, and you'll want to do a system reset. Wipe. And the reason we do the system in this case is just because we don't want any parts of the old ROM or any other old system files there to uh, to kind of get confusing once it starts actually using the ROM. Now, it's really simple at this point. We can hit the back button. Go to install. Now, in this menu here, uh, it's set to external card. It, that's usually where you're going to want to install the uh, or, or put the, the the zip file. Now I just look in here. I find Jedi. Click that one. All right. Now this is just saying ah, da 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 da. Warning, warning, warning. That's fine. Now I want to uh, I want to do just this. I don't want to zip any other files at this point. So swipe to confirm flash. Then it just starts doing its thing. So what we can do um, is just let it let it go here. This one actually doesn't take too long to install the entire file system, uh, which is good because I've seen some where it does take a little while. Now this one, uh, or actually some of the other ones that you you see out there, Clean ROM for example from Scott's ROMs, that one will actually give you a dialog box at this point where you can select certain settings, uh, what options you really want uh, for, for the installer to install onto the phone. But, uh, and, and I just tried Clean ROM and it's another very good option as well. I'm going back to Jedi just to do a little bit of testing to see whether or not uh, this is going to work best for me. Um, and on that note, I, I do particularly like uh, Twerp for the uh, recovery system. The, the user interface, I think, is just a lot nicer than, uh, than Clockwork Mod. So now you can see it's done. <laughs> Feel the force right there. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to wipe the, Calvic, uh, the, the Dalvik in cache. Oh, I didn't take it. So wipe that. And one other thing that they recommend you doing, if you go home, and I believe it's in advanced, is fix permissions. Swipe to confirm. Ooh. Updating, but can't check permissions after factory reset. Please boot ROM and try again after you reboot into recovery. Okay, that's fine. So sometimes fixing permissions will, it'll allow you to, but I guess in this case it's no longer allowing us to. So that's fine. What we'll do, we'll hit home, hit reboot, Reboot into the system. Yep, oh, we got it. I'll just let it boot here. And pretty much just like that, uh, we'll have the new the new ROM installed on to the phone. Um, I might do another video at another point describing some of the features of this one, but at this point I'll, uh, I'll leave the video here. Thanks for watching.